All right, well, let's talk about someone who is in this space, talk about the demand that he's seen over the summer and what that looks like heading into fall. And for that, we want to bring in Wheels Up Chairman and CEO Kenny Dichter. Kenny, it's great to see you. I know you were out with your earnings last month. Demand was strong, revenue up nearly 50 percent from a year ago. What does that demand look like over the last couple of weeks and heading into this holiday weekend? Yeah, demand is super, super firm uh, as we go into this weekend. Uh, the summer has been a summer of really intense uh, travel. Uh, as you noted in our earnings, our revenue uh, was up year over year 49 percent. Uh, we picked up uh, a great company over in Europe, uh, Air Partner, and the travel back to Europe and intra Europe, uh, Europeans traveling the United States, it's, uh, it really feels like uh, it's at all time highs. Of course, as much as revenue's up, so too are your losses, and the stock has been pummeled over the last year. What's the story to make money for investors? Yeah, well, I think we're taking a very long-term approach here. Uh, you know, the supply chain is challenging for everybody. Uh, we have a membership model, so we don't price to the spot market. And in a lot of cases, you know, a happy member with a strong retention rate tells me that we're going to be in great position forward. You know, the stock price does not define in any way, shape or form, in my mind, uh, what the company is, what its prospects are. And I think that we're perfect from a product market fit perspective. I think that things need to come into balance as it relates to parts availability. Uh, we're a zero tolerance safety house. Uh, so we got to make sure that our clients and customers and members are safe. Uh, so we feel really good about the future of the business. I think that uh, if you build it, they will come. Uh, the people have come, the membership is very strong, and we're committed to taking care of our members. If it's a bit more expensive now to do it, we're taking an approach. You can take a look at the stock in a year, two, or three, and I think that'll tell the story. And Kenny, speaking of expenses, obviously we've been seeing gas prices come down, though they have ticked up slightly in the past week, but jet fuel prices continue to be on the rise. How much is that affecting your business right now? Well, the good news is we put an index in, so we have a fuel surcharge that we pass through to customers uh, and the members. It's not a profit center for us, but it does insulate us from any moves in the fuel market. So I would say the private jet market, unlike the commercial jet market, which has a lot of you know fuel uh, sensitivity in it, uh, we don't have that here at Wheels Up. So that's a, that's a good factor that we don't need to deal with. Kenny, certainly labor shortages are something that's plaguing your sector. What are you seeing just on the pilot side of things? We've heard from a number of the larger uh, commercial airlines that they are doing everything they can to attract those workers still, though, coming up short in a lot of instances. Is that the case with you or how are you better weathering this difficulty? Well, I would say the good news is, you know, we speak to the Delta folks all the time. They're one of our large shareholders and big partners. I know the Delta is doing a great job in terms of recruiting new pilots in uh, to their business and we have a program with them called propel where we can kind of go back and forth and 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 have a pilot's uh, lifetime journey you know laid out if you retire from delta you can come and we welcome you here at wheels up uh, so i think that that stuff comes back into balance on the commercials and as far as wheels up goes i think the biggest challenges we have on the pilot side uh it, it's stuff like training and and other things that can get bottlenecked up but we have the right number of pilots we got to get the pilots through the right training and make sure we have the right balance of PICs and SICs. That's pilots in command and second in command. The other thing we have at Wheels Up, which is great for our pilots, is their shareholders in our company. Uh, we're the only company that looks like we do in our space. Our pilots are my partners. We have a great pilot force here at Wheels Up. Uh, they spend most of the time when there's human contact with the members and they do a great job. And again, I'm proud to call them my partners and shareholders. So all the pilots out there that want to be partners in a private jet company, uh, wheels up. We're here. We're open for business and we're looking forward to meeting you. All right, Kenny, I got to ask right. you about the uh, climate problem around the globe. We're all facing it. We're all seeing day by day indications of it and it's impacting the airline industry. And with it, outrage is increasing on private jet travel. We've all heard about Kylie Jenner's 17 minute flight. Now there's a company, Yarp, that actually tracks your carbon uh, footprint and how much you're on a private jet. It shows Taylor Swift, the leader, 170 private flights from, J from uh, January to July. 8,300 tons of carbon impact. What are you guys doing to combat climate change? First off, I would say to Taylor and Kyla, we welcome you at Wheels Up. I think that uh, being that we're a shared asset, 
uh, company, you're going to have less burn. And the King Air, which uh, you've shown a couple of great pictures of here uh, at Yahoo, that's the most efficient, most green private airplane in the world, meaning it burns the least fuel. Uh, the good news is we put a carbon credit in and all of our members and all of our customers pay on an hourly basis uh, to take care of the carbon footprint on their flights. That's, a, that's something we put in, we mandated into, into the program, and we got very, very little pushback, if any, uh, from our members that are willing to pay a, an hourly carbon credit so that we can go in and make sure that we're offsetting in every way, shape, or form uh, the flights that people are taking. So I would say that any of the celebrities that are doing the 17-minute uh, positioning flights or moving planes around, we welcome you into Wheels Up. It's definitely a greener way to go. <laughs> See, you're doing the recruiting and the celebrities as well. So, Katie, I want to ask you though about I want to now, ask now, you about the most lucrative routes. Well, we have to shout out Serena Williams, who's been an investor, a partner, uh, all the way through. She's playing today at seven o'clock. We're going to go root her on. Uh, Serena is a great champion of uh, of green. Well, we'll have to leave it there. But a big thank you to Kenny Dick today, Wheels Up Chairman and CEO. Thank you so much.